but uh, moving on we had a interview segment with uh, Ropongi voice that is uh, Trent Barreta and Rocky Romero so i think we are getting uh, the young bucks and Ropongi voice finally at rampage so this interview was cut short by the young bucks who said that they heard that they are having a interview segment so they said they decided to show say hi and sub so what happened was adam cole shows up and attacks uh, roppongi voice both that is Ro- romero and bareta here so it was a 3 on 2 beat down and we see i think it was trent who ate a bt trigger by the young bucks and uh, or was it Ro- romero i guess oh, i think it was rocky romero so yes, there was romero so they were about to do the same thing with trent i guess and then adam cole in somewhere in the corner said that guys look who it is then we see someone in a trench coat show up and it read switch blade and it is king switch himself j white has you know uh knocked down the forbidden door again and he showed up in this segment and uh, he joined in in the beat down and attacked uh, rocky romero and bareta here and did and posed for the camera for a while and uh, left before s- and said complimented one of the young bucks saying nice earrings and that was that uh, jay white uh, finally showing up in aw i think this is what everyone was clam- uh, clamoring about since the forbidden door has been opened since last year so he is another new japan guy so interesting and i think it also makes sense for whatever that they are doing with adam cole and the young bucks in terms of their story so we had you know the reunion of red dragon that is still up in the air on what uh, kind of payoff they are going to do so j white is another guy so basically you could say in at the end they could you know we could be seeing adam cole uh, betraying the young bucks uh, even though kenny omega is not there so that story is you know coming back still you know unclear on what direction they are going but it's still intriguing so j white is here and uh, funny enough i was having this discussion that at this point bullet club is dead and now j white shows up and they are bringing up the bullet club thing again i'm like come on man let's kill the bullet club hype for once and for once and for all <laughs> let's bu- bury bullet club and remember them for being one of the most influential factions in modern era but nonetheless what did you think about jay watt showing up in aw man uh, uh i let like to say that yes it was surprising obviously and i popped uh, when i saw jay white and uh, you know i don't know if uh, they have some plan for j white uh, you know for the future or it was just a one off and this said segment would uh, eventually pay off in new japan pro wrestling programming it was just done so as to get a moment and add to the uh, uh, story between uh, the young bucks adam cole and uh, red dragon and basically you also uh, created a story between ropongi wise and bullet club in a way that would eventually you can have the matches or match on new japan pro wrestling uh, programming so you hyped it a bit here basically i don't think so that j white is here for the long haul i don't think so mm, maybe getting a one off match here and there and that's it uh i don't know you know the roster of aw is so stacked and the uh, you know tv time is uh, you know so you can say 
you can say stagged or you can say is so little that i don't see that how would j white you know uh, would you can say be figured out here that h- how would you uh, you know figure him in a story i d- i don't know and i don't see the space basically you saw dynamite this week did you see anywhere uh, the roads and the american top team thing no no you didn't so th- th- that was surprising i i got this thought uh, last night that uh, there was nothing no mention of that so it is difficult and we know that you know j white has been you know uh, a probably uh, he has had a regular presence on impact wrestling recently so i don't know probably uh, you know the point that i alluded to that the pay off between rapongi wise and bullet club it would probably happen on new japan pro wrestling programming uh, so now that i think about it so, now, yes. now that i think of it whatever they're doing they're going to give some pay off to why j white showed up that you know uh, comes in line with whatever go- is going on in the super clip and what is adam cole thinking about right now because young bucks didn't know that j white going going to show up same thing with uh, red dragon when kyle o'reilly first showed up so yes kind of makes sense hope we stay intrigued and invested in this in the long haul but uh, yes. let's see where this goes and excited that j white finally showed up somewhere uh, the last year was bit of a could say a downgrade for him he left japan in early Jap- uh, january i guess last year then he was doing stuff here in the states with new japan fine but he was not in the limelight then he showed up in impact and it is a one off like he showed up when kenny was champion excited kenny is not champion again uh, lost the championship basically and i think that plans got scrapped and he shows up here in dynamite i think the buzz is going to start back for jwide which is great and nothing much to say mm-hmm. and you know now as you pointed out with regards to kenny omega if and when kenny omega returns to aw then probably we can see some involvement of j white on aw program but at this point i don't see any logic or even any uh, you know reason of j white you know uh, being involved on aw programming right now so we should look forward to you know just him uh, adding to the story with young bucks adam cole red dragon and you know uh, him creating yes indirectly tension or planting seed of an eventual showdown between him and kenny omega in the distant future that's pretty much it and speaking about kenny omega i think his update is that they he could he could you know show up in revolution but at this point it's not the i could say it's not going to happen because of his injuries are pretty pretty bad and his recovery time should be longer at this point uh, this is being stated by melser mm mm-hmm. mm mm-hmm. all right so let's see where this goes uh 